Hello, welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Stephen and this is your match preview for Everton's game against Manchester United at Old Trafford. Of course, right, the elephant in the room here is that we have already played them there once this season in the FA Cup. Um, a really disappointing loss that, obviously, you know, we, we want to be going a bit further in the FA Cup than we have been in the last few seasons. Um, we weren't too lucky with our draw, getting Manchester United away. Um, and we, we lost 3-1 with uh, with Conor Cody getting the goal for the Blues. Um, I don't expect that to be a sign of things to come, though, for this game. As you know, that was a very different time back in January. Frank Lampard was still the manager. Uh, the team was very different. The setup and the formation was very different. And, of course, we have been away since then and got points at the likes of Manchester City and Chelsea. And then, obviously, uh, the other night, uh, that fantastic draw against Tottenham at Goodison. So I do expect us to be able to show a little bit more of what we can do in this game. Um, and I hope that, you know, the team can be set up properly for uh, to at least try and get something from the game because it can be very important. Obviously, as I mentioned there, you know, we could really do with a result here. Um, a win would take us joint 12th level on points with Crystal Palace, which is a really, really big deal. If we can get three points tomorrow, I think um, it's looking really good for us when it comes to the relegation battle. But of course, it's not all doom and gloom. We have drawn our last two away league games at Manchester United. And uh, we have scored four goals in our last two games there in the league as well. So it's a ground we do we know that we can score goals at. And of course, the big team news for Everton is Abdoulaye Decore's suspension. He was red carded for um, the push in Harry Kane's face against Tottenham. And he is, this is the first of his three match suspension. Um, with regards to who might come in instead of him, I think... For me, it has to be James Garner. I think we were uh, at the beginning of the season. We were spoke, you know, we spoke a lot about James Garner and about how much we wanted him to kick on and be a great player for us. Um, only played eight games so far this season, so definitely his his time to shine. I think, especially against his former employers. Um, obviously, we don't we haven't seen too much of him. We've seen Decore being able to play in that slightly advanced midfield role with Gay and Onana behind. Unsure if if James Garner can do that, but. Um, I'm sure the best time for him um, to prove that he can do that would be against Manchester United. And while Manchester United have, of course, been really good at home this season, they've only lost once. Um, and while Manchester United have been really great at home this season, uh, I think they haven't lost since September at Old Trafford. Um, of course, no team is perfect. They did lose 7-0 to Liverpool, which, of course, you have to mention. Um, I think every game now that they'll play... Between now and the end of the season, that will be brought up, and for a long time, it probably will be brought up. So, there is definitely holes in this Man United team. Um, of course, Casemiro is out, and I think he is their biggest player, I think. Um, with regards to the best midfielders in the world, he, he definitely stands up there um, with the best. And, of course, he has done for years, but he's finally been able to prove uh, people in the Premier League that he is just a phenomenal player. So, I think we do need to definitely take advantage of um, Manchester United not having Casemiro for this game. But yeah, apart from uh, James Garner coming in, I think, for Abdoulaye Decore, I think it'll be the same team that we've seen in the last four matches where we have been unbeaten. Um, I think I expect James Coleman to stay in and hopefully give another great performance. Amadou Onana, I think, is going to be really key in this game. Um, those big, long legs moving across the Old Trafford pitch really can push us out of danger when we need it and it uh, can get us forward and try and get us some goals. Sean Dyche has mentioned that Calvert-Lewin is back trading on the grass, but I don't think we're going to see him just yet. So I do expect Amari Gray to be leading the line again. Um, but of course, Ellis Sims, uh, the, the super sub against Chelsea, is available. And I expect him to play some part at least tomorrow. With regards to a score prediction, I'm going to stay pretty positive. But, uh, you know, I think pretty realistic. I'm going to go for a a nil-nil draw. I think we'll be able to grind out a point there tomorrow I really hope so as well I think uh, you know we've been able to pick up uh, two points against Chelsea and Tottenham from positions where uh, it didn't look too likely in the closing stages um, and you know obviously Michael Keane and Ellis Sims two players who uh, back in January you would not have imagined them to be uh, to be our saviours really so um, yeah I think it's, it, it's going to be a tough one but um, with that being said there's no better time than the present than to end uh, a bit of a bad run at Manchester United and to get our first win there since, of course, Brian Oviedo scored that brilliant goal under uh, Roberto Martinez 10 years ago. Um, so, yeah, 
Make sure you leave a comment down below on what you think the score is going to be. Um, who do you think is going to come in for Abdullah Decorage? Do you think it might be Tom Davis? And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.